So now that we've protected the interior, let's raise the roof. Boop, boop, boo doo, boo doo doo doo. Raising the roof, taking so long. So we've gone ahead and cleaned and conditioned all the leather on the interior of the convertible. We went ahead and raised the roof. Now we're gonna clean and condition the fabric soft top. Now the fabric top is always exposed to all the environmental conditions that the car is in. There's always pollution, dirt and dust lining in the top. And as you can see, it's actually looking pretty faded, pretty dirty. So the convertible top care kit is a two part system. We're gonna first clean away any dirt and grime from the top using the convertible top on my cleaner with the convertible top scrubbing brush. Now this looks a lot like the leather brush, but if you'll see, it actually has a much shorter bristle length. This is for more aggressive scrubbing because these convertible tops get very dirty. They're exposed to a lot more stuff, so you need more muscle when you're cleaning off the top. Then afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and seal and protect the top with a convertible top protectant and repellent. Now this is a fabric protectant for the convertible top. Not only is it gonna help repel any water and moisture, it'll help it beat off and roll away from the top to keep it looking fresh and clean. It's also gonna have UV protection to help keep any color convertible top looking newer for longer. So if you keep your top maintained with convertible top protectant regularly from the beginning, it's gonna look better and last longer. You normally have to replace these tops every two or three years, but if you protect it with a convertible top protectant, it might go much longer. So we're gonna go ahead, clean the top, then protect it, show you the results. So to get started with the cleaning of the top, I'm gonna to take the convertible top cleaner and the convertible top brush. I'm actually gonna open the door just so I don't have to rub up on the door and install any scratches as I clean the roof. And I can get much closer this way. I don't have to reach over and you know, have the door get in the way. So I'm gonna take with the cleaner and just saturate a nice part of the roof just like this. Now it's safe to get this on any paintwork if you, if you miss the car or on any glass. It's not gonna cause any damage, not gonna cause any problems. I can just wipe it off, have no issues. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray down this brush as well. And set the bottle down. Now I'm just gonna scrub. Now I want to scrub and agitate any debris and grime and filth out from the fabric. Some more. Now this white foam is exactly what you want. I've gone and agitated all this debris. Set my brush down. Now the kit comes with a few uh, tan workhorse microfiber towels. I'm just going to use this. First couple passes, I'm going to wipe in a straight line just to pull off any grime and filth, any horse hair bristles that have come off the brush. This is a brand new brush, so I expect some hairs to pop out from the material. I'll continue to wipe one way just to pull all this debris out of here. Oh, yeah, and you can see. A lot of the grime and filth is being removed from this top. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip to the clean side to buff off any remaining residue. Get this as dry as I can. So this is an essential step when you want to protect a convertible top. You want to remove and clean any of the filth and grime from the surface. That way when you put the protectant on, it can seep deeper into the fabric to totally saturate it and really get a good bond for the longest lasting protection that you can get on the convertible top. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of the whole top. I have the rest of the roof and the sides to do. Then we'll go ahead and show you how to protect it using the convertible top protectant. So now that we've gone ahead and cleaned out the convertible top, you can see it all looks like an even color now. We've removed all the dirt, we removed all the contamination from the top. So now when we spray on the protectant, it's gonna seep all the way down deep inside the fabric to get a great bond that'll last a long time. Now before I get started doing the protectant, I just wanna show you guys, I wanna demonstrate how the fabric behaves with nothing on it. So I just have some plain water in a bottle. 
I'm just gonna spray some water right here on the top. See how it just kind of absorbs into the top? It just sort of makes a puddle. It doesn't really run off, it doesn't bead at all. It just sits right there in the fabric. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off any of this excess water before I get started. Good. So now I have the convertible top protectant and repellent. Now, if you read the instructions, it says to apply two coats, wait 20 minutes between each one, and then uh, you can let the coating cure for 24 hours to make sure it gets a nice solid bond. So if you're gonna apply this coating, it definitely makes sense to leave the car indoors overnight for, um, for the 24 hours to get the maximum bond. So if you're in a wet environment or if you're outside, if you're back east where there's a lot of snow, definitely makes sense to do this in the garage first or do this preparation before in the winter time when you get all the rain and all the snow. So I'm just gonna go ahead, shake up the bottle, and I'm gonna spray an even coat over all the fabric, okay? I'm gonna do my best to not have any dry spots or to not miss any areas. So I'm not too concerned with any overspray. I'll just go ahead and wipe that off from the paintwork when I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and coat all this fabric. And I don't wanna miss any areas. I don't wanna get any uneven blotches either. So I'm just gonna go get a nice even coating over all this black fabric. So I'll go ahead and go around the back, hit above the engine, hit above the window here. Very good. Get this whole half the canopy. This is really good. So after we get a nice even coat, this coat does not have to be like, you know, sopping wet, doesn't need to be super thick. But I do want a nice, good coating over the whole surface. There we go. So once your convertible top looks something like this, where you have a nice, even coating over all the fabric, you can go ahead, let the coating sit for 20 minutes to really seep deep into the fabric, get a great bond. So I'm gonna wipe off any excess overspray. I'm gonna wipe it off from the paintwork, from the glass and plastic trim. I just don't want this to sit on there too long, make it weird to take it off later. I'm gonna take all that off now while I let this cure. So after 20 minutes, I'll come back, do one more coating, and then we'll let the car sit overnight and make sure we get a great bond. See you in a few minutes. So now the first coating is nice and dry, nice and cured. I'm gonna apply the second coat, just like I did the first one, on a nice even coat over all the fabric top. Again, I'm not too concerned about any overspray. I'll just go ahead and wipe that off once I'm done spraying on the second coat. There we go, I have a second coat. I'm being very liberal with the protectant. I wanna make sure I'm getting total saturation with this coating over the entire canvas top. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cure on the surface for another 20 minutes. I'm just gonna wipe off any excess that I got on any of the trim, on any of their paintwork. Then we're gonna come back, make sure the coating is drying the way we want. Then we're gonna let it sit for a full 24 hours. We're gonna let it sit overnight here in the detail garage. Then we'll check back tomorrow and see the water repellency on this top. So we waited a full 24 hours here in the detail garage. We've had the car moved around in the shop while we waited for the uh, convertible top, protectant, and coating to cure to the vehicle. So now we're gonna go ahead and check the water beading abilities on the top. Again, I just have some normal, regular water. Just gonna pop it off, and I'm gonna see what kind of beading effects we have on the convertible top. See, look at that. Water just beads and rolls right off the top. So if you ever wanted to wipe it off, you could just wipe it with a microfiber towel. But once you start driving away, the water's just gonna sheet and bead right off. So, if you wanna have this level of protection on your convertible top for the wintertime months, or whenever you live in a rainy climate, or you wanna make sure your convertible top doesn't get stains or damage from rainwater, you should definitely check out the convertible top kit from Chemical Guys. So if you wanna learn more about the convertible top kit, you can check it out on our website. Link is right below in the description. If you want to learn more about how to detail the interior of your convertible top car, such as all the leather pieces, or the exterior of the car, like on the top, or any other paintwork, or things around the car, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have over 800 videos showing you how to do just about everything. You got a nice car, let's keep it clean with Chemical Guys.